got a, a sweet little baby over there laying down. And he was born on April the 1st. And it's kind of interesting what happened. We had a bird that was here for many years. Her name was Delilah. And Delilah died on April the 1st. And the guy who loved Delilah the best was the first guy out here. And he was so sad because Delilah had passed away. And he comes up here in the Hillary Parks and this baby's born right now. Mm. So kind of tells you the circle of life, lets you see how things are. Now we have two different types of zebras here. I don't see, we have these, these that have the shadow stripes that are black and white and gray. These are called Damara zebras. And the more classic one, and we've got a, one here who's looking real happy about life right now. <laughs> That's a Grant zebra. And um, he's, he's quite calisthenic there at the moment. <laughs> I don't see what he's looking at. He's got something on his mind, but I don't know where she is. What he's looking at. <laughs> um, the Grant zebra is a classic black and white zebra. Now, do you think zebras are black with white stripes or white with black stripes? What do you think? Black with white stripes? And white with black stripes? Black with white. Black with white. And the only way you can tell is you, have to, you actually have to shave them. The stripes don't go all the way to the skin. So if you shave them down, you'll see that they're just the skin is just black. Now, people wonder why. Why are they black and white? Well, the first thing they theory is is that lions are, have a, are pretty colorblind. So they think that probably they have a very hard time. They look very two-dimensional to the lion because they're, they don't, can't see the shapes as well. Uh, number two reason they think is that um, when they're moving, they actually create kind of an optical illusion when they're all moving at the same time. And that help, makes it hard for something to pick them out. You notice that black and white stripe goes up into the mane. And that is so that if... Um, a lion is, or another predator is trying to strike them. A lot of times they'll strike the mane rather than getting their neck because they think that's part of the neck. So they'll go for that first, so it helps them survive. When zebras run, if you ever see them film from above when they run, they actually continuously zigzag. They don't run in straight lines. The part of their survival thing is to constantly change who's on the outside and make it really difficult for something else to pick them out. Now, a group 